Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side Rahul Magan here acting as a Chief Executive Officer of Tragedy Consulting LLP and today we are going to cover a very sensitive topic and uh, it is getting very sensitive because interest rate is turning negative which is market risk interest rate interest rate risk strategies. Throughout the video we will refer interest rate risk as IRR. So we will refer this market risk IRR strategies. As you very well understand that lot of actions has been a lot of action is happening in the market. And if we go with the research report which has been provided by the international bank, it clearly suggests that approximately 10 to approximately 13 trillion dollars. I'm writing here, approximately 13 trillion dollar is under NIRP, negative interest rate policy, which is almost equals to the Chinese GDP. This is strange. So you have 13 trillion dollar of the asset, sorry, not asset, on the sovereign debt is, is under negative interest rate policy. And who are the nations? Tokyo, Europe, Swiss. And Tokyo is saying that there is still a room for quantity easing. Absolutely brilliant. When I heard this statement, I found very interesting that after two decades of quantity easing, the current governor Kuroda is saying a statement in the media that there is more or there is still room for quantity easing in Tokyo. Henceforth, he wanted he wanted to say that yields, the current 10 year yield in the Tokyo is approximately minus six basis point. And what he meant to say that he can say that there is still a room for quantity easing, that this negative yield will might go to might go a uh, little down. And as per Bloomberg TV, there is a very good line which they said. They said that people who are investing in Tokyo negative yield should pray that yield will come down because if you invested at minus 6 bips and suppose after a few days it will go to minus 20 bips then you gain 14 bips they are not wrong in that because they very well understand that uh, majority of the interest rates across the globe are uh, currently negative and henceforth the carry trade are getting a lot of importance and if we carefully evaluate the fact that Central Bank of Australia, you know, they kept the interest rate continue to be at 1.5% because they know that if they are going to reduce this, then this, this might hurt the carry of the country. So they are very particular about the carry and which is perfectly fine also. In that regards, we are going to be covering the, the our today's video, which is IRR strategies, interest, raise, interest rate risk strategies. Now in this, our portfolio manager is facing the following issues. He is facing the repricing risk, he is facing the basis risk, he is facing the yield curve risk, he catches the option risk and he catches the price risk. So this is what a portfolio manager will face every day. And this would complicate, if we are talking from portfolio manager, we should not forget that uh, Janus Capital has been acquired by Hederson. And the joint entity would uh, have an AUM of approximately 20 billion dollars, which is the fifth largest entity of the globe. As far as this media reports are concerned, I might be wrong in this about the AUM figures, right? So if we move back, then the portfolio managers is taking care of the following risk, repricing risk, basis risk, real curve risk, option risk and price risk. Now the board of the bank is playing a very strategic role when it when it comes to the managing of the interest rate risk seriously they are playing a very strategic role in 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 that regard how simple they have to decide the risk limits and controls they have to decide the risk monitoring they have to decide the gap analysis and they have to decide the duration analysis they have to decide the earnings simulations analysis they have to decide earnings at risk capital at risk value at risk economic value of equity and everything. This is what board to decide. And if we carefully see that the dossier is in a mess only because of this. Because if we not know how to manage the interest rate, then we are gone. And if we sync this with the statement of the largest bondholder of the globe, PIMCO, which has been given recently, recently means just two, two, three days ago, PIMCO clearly said that majority of the hedges they took are in losses. And PIMCO also said that even today, uh, sitting today, hedge funds themselves do not know where to hedge, when to hedge, how much to hedge because the volatility in currency as well as the interest rate is very, very high. 
so hence for the hence for the losses are more than gains in the hedging and of course this would impact your pad pad stands for your uh, profit of tax shortly known as the bottom line of the of the bank or a company or a financial institution in this we are going to cover two of them but uh, over the period we would be launching more videos of this to be honest uh, we are covering the gap analysis gap analysis is equals to rsa minus rsl rsa stand for risk sensitive asset rsl stand for risk sensitive liabilities so gap ratio is the difference between rsa minus rsl divided by average earning assets now what is gap ratio you have a set of risk sensitive assets you have a set of risk sensitive liabilities you are going to match up and there is another concept which is very important when it comes to gap ratio which is immunization what do you mean by immunization as the name suggests now what would happen if there is a, some viral which is going on you go to a doctor and you take a medicine or you might be you you might take a vaccine also in that regards what would happen you immunize yourself if there is a small kid in your house what you do you will immunize him or her you will give him the vaccine you will give him the you will give him the medicine simply speaking what would happen if assuming in january federal reserve seriously increase the rate by 25 basis point which is currently sitting at 0.5 when it, it will move to 0.75 although i am little skeptical that fed is is uh, is in not in the situation to increase the interest rate at least by june but let's see assuming they seriously go and increase the rate by 25 basis point now what would happen in that sense you need to immunize your portfolio you need to see the immunization for your the immunization to be done on your risk sensitive asset you need to do the immunization of the risk sensitive liabilities and of course your average earning assets and this is strictly pertaining to a bank don't forget we not mentioned now we are going to mention it that this all depend upon at the rate hedging now what do you mean by hedging you need to see in that as a bank financial institution corporate you never hedge your complete exposure and there are variety of ways to hedge you have rolling structures you have fixed structures you could have both you never hedge your complete exposure yes united states banking and european banking has been caught several times red handed doing over hedging of the exposure which is called leverage in india this has been banned but in us this is very much very much applicable so i take an example the gap ratio is risk weighted asset minus risk weighted liabilities assuming the rsa assuming the rsa is 400 billion and assuming the rsl is 320 billion so what you have you have difference is 80 billion assuming the earning assets are 1 trillion so you would have ratio which is x percent this is gap ratio this 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 you need to check now here the biggest problem with the gap ratio is this this gap ratio do not take hedging into consideration now he is saying rsa minus rsl it might possible that rsa is okay perfect rsa is of 400 billion dollars but you have hedged this for 1 trillion dollars collateralized debt obligation collateralized mortgage obli obligation collateralized bond obligation you have variety of portfolio and variety of pools which can be hedged several time using leveraged and even if you don't create a leverage there are variety of derivative instruments which can be leveraged like options i can tell you that in range forwards in range forwards and whether it is on exporter side or it is on the importer side you can create a leverage so you have a 1 dollar exposure and you will create a leverage of could be uh, 1000 dollars this is a big mess so this is not taking hedging into consideration so the gap gap ratio is risk weighted asset minus risk weighted liabilities sorry risk sensitive asset minus risk sensitive liabilities divided by average earning assets and this is what one of the ways in which the companies the banks are trying to protect their irr irr stands for interest rate risk strategies others are like you very well understand gap we discuss duration we are all scheduled to discuss you have var we tell you value at risk you have cad we tells you capital at risk how much capital is uh, at uh, problem you have uh, ar you have earnings at risk right and uh, that way another important way you can manage you another important way you can manage the show is why duration now what is duration duration is the sensitivity of the bond with respect to interest rate now what duration tell you that what would happen if the interest rate would shift by 
up to 1%, that will parallel shift. To take a simple example, today, hereby we will deliberate take an example of an Aussie dollar. Assuming there is a 10-year Australian government security because they are having the highest carry, it is trading at 2.04%. And United States is trading at, I think, approximately 1 point, between 1.6 to 1.7. So 10 year Australian security is trading at 2.04%. Now this, I want to calculate the duration. What would happen if this would swing by plus minus 100 bips or 1%? It would go to 1.04% or it would go to 3.04%. What would happen with this? Here comes some accurate duration which is known as the weighted average duration through which you will calculate the uh, you will calculate the sensitivity and and i hope you can see that we wrote here that the order of importance what do you mean by order of importance that if you go down then this is the then the most important is is this then this so macular duration is the weighted average duration then modified duration is macule 1 plus ytm divided by n which is a discounted measure. As you get down, you will get the more importance. Effective duration in my way is the best duration because effective duration is just like a timeline. You will, you will get to know, excuse me, I am here. If it is going to be swing by 100 bips, if it is going to be swing by negative 100 bips, this complete is the effective duration. Then you have convexity. Convexity is the non-linear non non measure of a bond price. I hope you very well understand options. In options, you have two Greeks, delta and gamma. Delta is the first derivative, gamma is the second derivative. What is delta? Change in option price to change in underlying. What is gamma? Change to change in option price due to change in delta. As simple as that. And the best part is effective convexity. But majority of the times, considering the negative interest rate, you might not be able to uh, reach to convexity because convexity is a non-linear layer. Convexity means the shift to heavy happen greater than 1%. This is a little difficult to be very honest. So what would happen? You will do the convexity. You will reach, you will be, uh, you know, roam or wander here. These three, vacuular duration, modified duration and effective duration. But the best which portfolio managers always use is PV01, present value of one basis point. This will tell you, suppose this will cal calculate like, like this. I will, I have no space, I'll calculate here. This will calculate like this. The present value of a yield plus one bips minus present value of the yield. This is present value of one basis point. If I take it on the other way, I would say present value of yield minus present value of yield minus 1 bips. This is PV01. Now what is 1 bips? 1 bips is equals to 0.01%. So this is how the interest rate strategies are going to be considered. Before winding up the video, let me summarize this that our portfolio managers is having repricing risk, basis risk, yield curve risk, option risk and price risk. This is how they are going to mitigate uh, the IRR interest rate risk. They would have the strict control over risk limit. In RBA term, this is known as overnight position, NOP, net overnight position. In case of the big banks, once they have several, they have uh, business across the globe. This is NOP, net overnight open position, else it is NOP, net overnight position, right? So you have risk monitoring and control, you have gap analysis, gap analysis is the difference between risk sensitive asset minus risk sensitive liabilities divided by average earning assets. We should not forget to take hedging into consideration. Why hedging into consideration? Because you might have an asset which I mentioned here, RSA of $400 billion. But if you calculate for a European bank, you might have hedged this till $1 trillion. So that impact of hedging would come. This is called leveraged. You can leverage an asset, you can leverage an asset using options also. And uh, this is how we will calculate the duration and convexity. You have macular duration, modified duration, effective duration, convexity, effective convexity and present value of one basis point. So this was the purpose of the video is to introduce you about uh, the interest rate risk strategies. You always welcome to email us at registconsulting LLP at the rate gmail.com. And my alternate email IDs is rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com. 
My mobile number is 9899242978 and my Skype is Rahul5327. You are absolutely uh, welcome to contact us and I and I'm very pleased to share that we are coming up our website soon, probably this week, next week. And with this, we are launching several things, our publication desk, our training desk, our GRC, Global Risk and Compliance, our legal forum, you know, our regulatory forum. We are launching several things. We are coming up with FEMA, IFIS and a lot of stuff. So stay touch and as soon as our website will come, we will host a specific video on our website, on our YouTube channel. Until then, have a good luck.